Welcome back guys, today we're going to continue troubleshooting the clutch because unfortunately what I did last episode didn't fully solve the problem, so let's get started. So like I said in the beginning, we are not quite out of clutch trouble. To recap what we did last episode was take apart the clutch pack and break apart all of the different um, discs that were stuck together which was the right thing to do that did help us keep the bike from this that did solve our disengaging issue but when I put it back together I was seeing that the slave master cylinder wasn't allowing the pin to fully return and now my clutch pack isn't fully engaging so essentially my I have a spare part here, but my master cylinder um, allows the slave cylinder to push the rod, but the rod is not returning back. I've checked multiple times taking apart the clutch pack. It's not the clutch pack, it's with this part. So that's where we are today. Well, my theory is it's this part. That's where we are today then. Um, my replacement part came in. What I'm thinking is um, there's a part that that isn't working inside the Slave Master Cylinder, so I bought one online and I'm gonna replace it and give it a shot. It shouldn't be too bad. Let's go through the steps and um, let's get started. So here it is, the Slave Cylinder for the hydraulic clutch system on the Ducati. Your Master Cylinder is up here and this is your Slave. Hydraulic fluid goes through, pushes on this cylinder, which pushes the rod, which expands your clutch basket. That's where we are. It is comprised of this banjo bolt or banjo, uh, this banjo joint, one hydraulic bolt, and the system itself. I've got three screws, one, two, three, four, to take this apart. Um, we are going to have to fully bleed the system, but it all starts with preparing the surface, um, putting, putting some cardboard down, and uh, removing my safe cylinder. So we're going to get... So a few things to expect as I loosen this uh, bolt holding the banjo um, banjo thing down is I'm going to spill brake fluid everywhere. Uh, it's at a very low point so it is expected that I'm going to spill quite a bit of fluid there. So I'm going to get a cup and some rags. I've got this all protected and um, go from there. Okay, banjo bolt is removed. So now that hydraulic fluid is open, um, I should be able to remove this straightforward now. This is a pretty common upgrade for folks with their monsters. So if you're planning of upgrading this, that was the alternative I was contemplating. So um, an upgraded version of this looks really nice. It's red or black or whatever color you want. It looks pretty lightweight. Um, it's about 110 bucks. If your sleeve master cylinder does go out, your options are what I did, which is buy a used part it's a little risky because it could be the same issue as this one um but it was only 40 bucks and it was shipped to my house 39 dollars for this guy i'm just gonna go backwards and put it in hopefully it'll go i'll have to bleed everything out and um we'll give it a shot so backwards order i go so everything's back together um i replaced a part with another identical part so hopefully it solves my problem my next steps is to bleed this system completely out. There is a significant amount of air in the system. So I'm going to use a vacuum bleeding kit right here to speed up the system a little bit. Um, so what this does is it pulls a vacuum through the chamber and allows, um, allows me to suck up all the air. Um, and speed up the process a little bit. You can still do this the regular way, but it just takes a little bit longer. So I think this is on Harbor Freight. It's not that expensive. So yeah, some tools that'll help. Okay, let's figure it out together if we can get this bike on the road. So here's my test. There's some of my shit. So I got clutch pressure, which is nice. Coming first here. Oh, 
know if that's enough disengagement. I'm still. Okay, so first gear. I don't know. We'll see. Okay guys, I think I feel, I think I feel strong enough about this to give it a test ride. So, wish me luck. I uh, pushed it back and forth, the clutch felt alright, it was kind of doing clutch stuff, which is good. So I'm going to give it a go, I'm going to try to hit the road with it. So on a test ride like this, I'm going to start casual, just making sure that what I just figured out, which is the clutch does its job, goes forward, I mean, uh, engages, disengages, all that good stuff. Okay. Right the garage. Make sure nothing is burning and smelling, because this is the clutch. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he's on the road. Brakes feel good. Suspension feels good. Let's see. I'm gonna take it nice and easy. Clutch feels good. It's engaging. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. We're on the road. Okay, we did it. We got the Ducati back on the road. I am beyond pumped. Uh, we just took it around the block. It was enough for me to know that my clutch fix worked. So that part is a good part. My clutch is engaging right. My power delivery is pretty smooth. I don't sense anything wrong with that at all. The brake does feel a little spongy, so I may have to go through that again. Um, but besides that, we're on the road. The bike is running. We shifted through the gears and it's moving along. So while the bike's warmed up, this is a crucial portion after your test ride. We got to do a full walk around. Is anything burning, smelling, leaking, uh, oozing, anything? So we're just going to take a lap around and um, pay attention to anything. But on the first pass, the bike isn't burning, the bike isn't smelling, we're not leaking. I'm going to leave it here. Um, at temperature for a few hours with a, with a cardboard underneath it. But besides that, I think we had a successful first test ride. I am so stoked. So now, now it's fine tuning. Now it's getting my brakes to be 100%. It's probably recharging that battery. It's been a while since I put that in. And, um, and then, then a whole bunch of enjoyment. And we'll go from there. 
So thank you guys again for watching. It was a long road to get here. This bike came in in a tow truck and today we rode it around the block. So that in itself is a huge accomplishment and visually it looks stunning. Uh, we're not done yet, so stay tuned for more videos like this and uh, hopefully we'll do more rides with this Ducati. So. so if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content on this bike, that Tiger, or uh, my other project bike. So um, thanks again for watching. See you later.